Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Who the hell goes to a music school and what the heck do they expect to get out of it? I bet, I bet that, I bet like, obviously I don't come from a very musical family. We listened to music when I was young. I hated most of it. Didn't like music till I was like 13 or something. Um, anyways, there, yeah, so we came from a TV family. I've talked to Melissa about how like everyone in the city has a TV pretty much and she's like, oh yes, that's going to be true. We can't know that because we haven't been in every single house, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but um, there's got to be like musical families and like, so there's got to be like, I'm pretty sure there are musical schools. And I, I've, I've been to a conservatory, but I don't know if that was like officially a school or just like really super advanced lessons. But I think there's like a musical high school. I know there's at least an art high school. And what do you expect to get out of, look, how do you make money doing art? <laughs> I just like insulted myself so badly saying that. Anyways, <laughs> no, but uh, for your kid, you, you're, te you're telling your kid at the age of like 14, okay, we're going to send you to a school where you're going to try to learn how to make money as an artist. It's so ridiculous. I would not wish that on. <laughs> so, so uh, anyways, um, I uh, went to a school that was designed for white collar jobs, and um, yeah, that, that didn't work out. Um, and I was thinking the music school kids that they probably got the job that was waiting for me. You know, you know not waiting for me, but whatever. Um, Apparently working in the office. Root notes, root notes. Okay. Oh God, I saw. I saw a commercial for the U.S. office and one of the DVDs that I got, and I call it shit. <laughs> I stopped at my, I don't know, the second or third season. I, I don't remember. I, I knew I was going to enter on it. I know, it lasted a long time. I'm actually old enough that, like, seven-year sit, like, a seven-year sitcom is a huge, huge success. And I'm old enough that I've lived through Seinfeld, The Office, I don't know, there's other ones. Um, there's a lot of other ones, Two and a Half Men, whatever. I've lived through, and they're all terrible. Like, you could argue Seinfeld's good. You could argue part of The Office is good, and I'm sure Two and a Half Men did thing. But, I, yeah, I, they've got some redeeming features. But, like, oh... The U.S. I just like butchered. It's like the U.K. office. I don't know. Maybe the U.K. office isn't that good. I've never worked in an office. I remember laughing at the U.K. office. Um, but. <laughs> and of course, Ricky Gervais turned into this huge monster. See, I, I do these things on purpose on now so I don't get successful. I shit on Ricky True Race. So what, do I just want to be homestruck? Like, is that what I'm trying to do? bit of speed, that's exactly what I need to get past the speed of the movie. Um, where am I? Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, we just did that. So now we're here. 
Yes, I do. So. There's no other way to do this. This is why it is so difficult. Watch me, I, I wrote this down right now, so. Can we just try one thing?
nothing worse than middle age. I'm, I don't think I'm middle aged yet. I'm 30, but maybe I'm middle aged if I move to 60. No, I never, I don't think I ever really thought of 30 as middle aged. Just very close. Um, but there's nothing sexy about middle age. And there is something kind of sexy about like old age. But not with my parents, of course. They're both disgusting creatures. But, um, I hope they didn't feel that. My mom just coughed. <laughs> Thank you.